Bad news for the Republican Party. Their base is shrinking. No, not like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids kind of shrinking, but literally, they're starting to die off. And it's not just this, but as far as attitudes, Gallup took a look at uh, attitudes of people who are conservative and saying that a lot of conservatives aren't as conservative as they used to be. According to this new Gallup poll, fewer conservatives are socially and, or I'm sorry, fewer Republicans are socially and economically conservative. According to this poll, almost one in four in the GOP are now moderate slash liberal on both dimensions. Now, we did a poll earlier that talked about how people say they're socially liberal, but economically conservative. Now, I kind of busted that whole myth when it comes down to issue by issue. Even Republicans are liberal on, on some economic issues, and most of the American public are liberal on issues. I mean, when you talk about things like Social Security and health care, and, and, you know, things like that, the minimum wage. Americans are more economically liberal. But I think it's a trend to say that, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm socially liberal, but economically conservative, even though I don't quite understand what that means. That's pretty much what I get from this. Now, 20% are socially moderate slash liberal, but are uh, uh, describe themselves as economically conservative. Now, let's break down some of the uh, numbers on this. Now, the percentage of Republicans are Republican-leaning independents who describe themselves as both sec social and economic conservatives has dropped to 42%. Now, that's significant because that says that the lowest that is the lowest level Gallup has measured since 2005. Now, the second largest group of Republicans that constitutes about 24% see themselves as moderate or liberal on both social and economic issues, while 20% of all Republicans are moderate or liberal on social issues, but conservative on economic issues. Now, this is an interesting trend. Now, where does this come from? Now, this data comes from Gallup's Values and Beliefs poll, which since uh, 2001 has included questions asking Americans to rate themselves as conservative, moderate, or liberal on social and economic issues. Now, these trends overall show that not only Americans as a whole have become less likely to identify as social or economic conservatives, but also that Republicans' views are starting to change on the same line. Now, that's really, really interesting and actually very, very significant. In fact, the change is so significant that it's about 15 percentage points since 2012, this drop identifying uh, this drop of Republicans identifying as conservative on both of those issues. That's a huge drop, 15 percentage points in, in less than three years. That's amazing. Now, that is largely offset by an increase as a percentage who identify as moderate or liberal on both dimensions. However, as I pointed out yesterday, the Republican Party as a whole has gotten very extremely conservative. So they're starting to even lose self-described Republicans. The Republican Party is being too, becoming too extreme for Republicans. As I said, I pointed that out earlier, yesterday, actually. Now, age takes, uh, age is a major factor in this, okay? So according to this poll, the percentage of Republicans and Republican-leaning independents who are conservative on both social and economic issues rises steadily with age. So if you are older, you are more economically conservative and socially conservative, which makes sense on both counts. Normally, people who are older are a little bit more established, have a little bit more wealth. Not in every case, I understand that. But in a lot of cases, people who are older are a little bit more economically conservative because they've built up money and they want to get taxed less. Keep it real. As far as um, being older and, and being more socially conservative, well, that just has to do with old values and how much America has changed and how much the social landscape has changed. Now, this says, uh, an, an analysis of aggregated surveys conducted since 2012 shows that the size of the social 
uh, an economic conservative group is twice as large among Republicans age 65 or older, essentially most Fox News viewers. Remember, Fox News has an audience somewhere around 69. Bill O'Reilly pretty much broadcast from a nursing home. Their average age of a Fox News viewer uh, that watches O'Reilly is about 72. So keep that in mind. Uh, now, among those aged 18 to 29, uh, it's a lot, they're a lot less socially and economically conservative. That's why you do see libertarians making inroads into the Republican Party and the popularity of, Ron, uh, of Rand Paul, who is not really a libertarian, but he does do some libertarian things and does support some libertarian ideas. So, now, this is significant. Because we've got an election coming up, right? And we've got some issues with, of course, the primaries. Now, some of the implications they said is that not all Republicans are involved in the early primary and caucus voting. Now, that means that we've got a, a clown bus going on right now where a lot of the candidates are going to attempt to out-conservative each other for a smaller group. And the people that are more economically and socially conservative, those are the people that show up overwhelmingly to those, uh, to those caucuses, to the primaries to vote. Now, that can create a problem because you get these crazy people that are very, very conservative voting for very, very conservative candidates. They're a small minority. When they get out to the general election and get where normal people are, regular people are, that aren't as socially and economically conservative, well, that's why they lose. The more conservative they get, they've kind of backed themselves into a corner, painted themselves into a corner by being so ideologically extreme based on a very, very small part of their base, which is very, very conservative. Anybody who's in the GOP, anybody who's a Republican strategist has to understand this and has to be trying to figure out a way if they want to be competitive, they're going to have to change the way that they do things. Not that I want to give them advice or anything on how to win, but I'm just being fair. And I'm going through and I'm giving my analysis on this one. Now, contrast that with what's going on in the Democrats, right? Democratic candidates will be dealing with party identifiers who are mostly moderate or liberal on social and economic issues with a significant divide between these two groups. So that's interesting. So we're going to have sort of the same situation in the Democratic Party from what I hear, from what um, Gallup is, is hinting towards. And I'll have to take a look at that when that report comes out. So it's very interesting stuff coming out from uh, about the Republican Party. And look, man, if they want to change and if they want to be competitive, they need to stop out conservative each other and start coming back towards the middle. And stop being so ideologically extreme because it's 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 really not resonating with most self-identified Republicans. There's only a very very small slice of the Republican Party of Republican voters that are as extreme 